is 844. This is actually not a joke. One hour and 58 minutes, 91 miles. I'll be there around 1042. Okay, starting out with the first delivery of the day for me, 1245. By the way, normally I'm supposed to be here at 10. I'm supposed to leave that, supposed to get up around 7, leave the house at uh, 8, be here at 10. Two hours to get here, two hours to get home. Normally I carpool with my stepdad, but right now he can't. So, just me. But, yeah, first delivery of the day. Here we go. Okay, so that one was interesting. Um, his total was $15.70. He asked me if I can take a roll of quarters, which is $10. I said, yeah. Then he gives me a $20 bill. So that's $30 for something that's $15.70. And I said, Okay, how much do you want in change? How much do you want to tip me? He said, oh, nothing today because I already tipped you good yesterday, even though we were closed yesterday, so I don't know who he's talking about. Um, but he still wants the change for the quarters as well because I could have just took the 20 and gave him $4. That's it, boom. $16 he gives me, I keep the 30 cents change, that's it. Um, but he wanted change for the quarters. So I give him change for the quarters, which is two $5 bills, two $5 equals 10. And then I said, okay, I think I have the $4 in my pocket. And he's like, oh no, that's okay, you can keep the change. Even though he told me he doesn't want to tip me anything because he already tipped me yesterday even though we were closed and I was not here. So, I have no idea. Um, but he didn't get the receipt, he doesn't want the receipt, so... He's not even gonna know how much the total actually was, so... I don't know. So, I... I got a $4 tip... Accidentally. I mean, that's good enough for me. Okay, my car squeaks... Well, it's not my car, but it squeaks a lot. So I'm sorry about that, but um, second delivery, same exact guy, um, this time paid with a credit card, and I told him, can you sign this, he said no, he said he doesn't want to sign anything at all, even if it's zero tip, he still didn't want to sign it for some reason. Um, and now I just got done with the third delivery cash, uh, four dollar tip. Okay, next delivery was seven dollar tip. That's actually pretty good, especially since the average tip over here used to be about five. Now it's like three fifty on average by the end of the night. Sometimes less than that. But I'm getting pretty stressed out. Um, I know I haven't told you guys much of anything recently because all I've been doing is deliver is friggin' working. Deliveries and all that, but working overall. 74 hours a week. Not counting four hours of traveling a day. Um, which leaves me to almost no sleep, uh, except for Mondays. Mondays is my only day off. But, um, I get $5.50 an hour. And then tip. Which isn't that much. Um, and not only do I have to do delivery stuff, but I have to babysit 
a lot of the other workers, the cooks, mess up a lot. Um, well, I wouldn't say a lot, but like they're not putting the stuff in the right place. They're missing stuff, you know. So in a way, it's a lot. Um, more than average, at least. Uh, pizza guy putting the wrong, the, the stuff on the wrong side of the oven, um, so that we don't know that it's a delivery, and then not saying anything that it's a delivery, just leaving it there, unless one of us notices. If then I, so I have to keep checking that all the freaking time. And, Every time there's a food delivery, we have to, uh, I have to organize everything, put everything in the cooler, organize the, the stuff, and and stock it pretty much just like uh, Winn-Dixie, except Winn-Dixie was eight fifty an hour for stocking. Um, but for some reason, I'm also stocking. Um, janitor, pretty much. Um, garbage guy doing all the garbage and, and having to put that on the back of the thing because there's no freaking uh, there's no dumpster so every Sunday we gotta put all the garbage bags in the back of a thing so that they can take it to the dump um, which that's always great so today I almost had a breakdown um, I felt very, very overwhelmed and stressed. Extremely overwhelmed and stressed. I was, I was very close to quitting. But to be completely honest, I was very close to quitting and going back to Uber Eats. Um, with Uber Eats, uh, I made more over there than what I do here. And that says something, especially since I do a lot more work here. So, I told my stepdad, he told me, because he's he's also the manager, by the way, um, not the boss, but the manager. Um, he told me to go back to how delivery drivers are supposed to be and just be a regular delivery driver. Don't do anything extra. Um, if they put it on the wrong side of the thing, leave it there. If they don't tell us, we leave it there. Um, customer gets mad, it's not our fault. It's their fault. So, tell them I'm not a babysitter, basically. I don't know if this is going to be in my day in my life video or just a separate video altogether, but I just needed to, to get that out there so you guys know. Anyway. Okay, $3 tip on the last one. what I told you last um, but I just got uh, two seven dollar tips in a row which is nice again um, I know I told you seven dollars I, I don't remember what how many seven dollar tips I had I don't know if it's one I mean I don't know if I took I I know I told you about one but I don't know if I have two or three now but I had two seven dollar tips in a row is all I know um, but again, that's that's above average. Seven dollars is definitely above average for today, so it's good. I'm not in the best of moods today, man. I really am not. I'm, I'm being asked too much for what pay I get. I have no problem working. No problem working at all. I will do whatever the hell you want me to do. I have no problem with that. I did the same thing at Winn-Dixie. Somebody took a, a, a freaking shit in their pants and they left the underwear on the floor and it was all over the seat and it was all over the stall walls and it was all over the ceiling somehow. Okay, clean it up. Yeah, it's not worth $8.50 an hour for to clean that up, but you know, I cleaned it up. Um, but that was that's that's not your normal job and it, it you normally don't have to do that um, but here it's every day babysitter for the pizza guy the cooks 
sometimes the servers depending on who's working um, and I have to help fix their mistakes but I get paid less than them how does that make sense 550 an hour delivery fee doesn't count tips are specifically for the delivery not to get paid extra for other stuff if you want to get paid extra for other stuff you up the 550 part this is a dirt road that's why it's doing that um, I gotta turn this light off because I'm going onto a main road now. But yeah, it's very stressful to be treated like a general manager while still getting paid like a minimum wage delivery driver. Not even the same type of delivery driver that I I was paid as uh, in Tampa. In Tampa, I got 850 plus tip plus delivery fee. And I did a little bit of the cooking and cooking fryers and all that stuff at the same time. That was good. That was really good. I was getting about $800 a week working all seven days, but from 4 to 10. Sometimes to midnight. 4 in the afternoon to around midnight. 40 minute drive there, 40 minute drive back, and I didn't have to drive either. Well, no, I did have to drive home. Um, most of the time. Here, six days a week, but it's 10 o'clock in the morning to 10 at night or 11. And usually you stay later than what time you close. Plus a two hour drive here and a two hour drive back, which I've had to do both trips to and from. And I get roughly 600 a week so a lot more hours not even getting enough sleep every night but somehow getting less money than when I worked less hours working the same type of job and also having less um, responsibilities while the other two delivery drivers. The one has to do quite a lot as well, but not as much as me. And the other one, not really much at all compared to me or him. But yeah, we all get the same pay. Okay. On the road again, on my way home. Still another 44 miles to go, 48 minutes. We'll be home at 1241, which is a little earlier than normal, to be honest. So, and I probably forgot to tell you a few tips and stuff, but I'll try to remember to tell you the grand total at the end. Okay, so those were my tips. Four zero seven three seven seven. Those sevens are actually very rare to get. You normally do not get more than five. Um, and this is actually average, about six deliveries a day, except for Friday and Saturday. So you add it all up, except for the zero, which I didn't put in because it's zero. Twenty-eight dollar tip. Six deliveries, two dollar delivery fee each. That's twelve dollar delivery fee, but that has to go to my stepdad because it's his car. And even if it didn't, it still goes to the car no matter what. It goes for for gas and miles anyway, so you gotta ignore that no matter what. Twenty eight dollar tip. Working twelve hours a day, getting five dollars and fifty cents an hour. They give $66. So if you add the $66 plus the 28 tip, I make roughly, on average, $94 a day. Now, say this was my car. $94 plus the 12 um, delivery fee equals $106. It's 93 miles to get there, 94 miles to get back, roughly 24 miles 
a day um, for deliveries. That's 211 miles a day, which is equal to 10.5 gallons of gas because this car can only go 20 miles to the gallon. That's um, and it also only takes premium gas, so that's thirty-two dollars and fifty-four cents in gas. Subtract that from a hundred and six, that's seventy-three dollars and forty-six cents profit per day before taxes. Now, after doing some quick math, I took my ninety-four dollars that I make divided by the twelve hours that I work. That's seven dollars and eighty-three cents an hour but typically we gotta stay an extra hour unpaid so that's ninety four dollars divide by thirteen hours that's seven dollars and twenty three cents an hour if like some people you wanna take travel time into account that's seventeen hours a day ninety four dollars divided by seventeen hours equals five dollars and fifty three cents an hour on top of that, if you take 24 hours in a day, subtract 17, that gives 7 hours sleep. But, that's if you go to bed as soon as you get home, and get up as soon as it's time to get up, and not wake up to pee, or not um, stay up to get ready, or to take a shower, or any of that stuff. That None of that's taken into account. So, every single day... I do not get enough sleep, the proper amount of sleep, and it's affecting me mentally, so it's great, and it's very difficult to drive two hours one way, two hours back, while having an inadequate amount of sleep every day, except Monday being my only day off. But yeah, so there is my updated 2020 February 2020, um, day in my life.